What's up YouTube? This is Print Practical. This is build series number five for the Ender 3 Pro. Today we're going to be installing an SKR 2.0 along with some TMC 2209 steppers. So I already have a custom enclosure printed out for the SKR 2 which relocates the LCD for the Ender to the left side of the printer instead of it being on the right. I think this is a really clean look and it exposes the SKR ports on the side. You can see me draw this in one of my other videos. I'll put a link if you're interested. So like I said before, I got the SKR2 along with the TMC2209 steppers. I got this whole kit straight from Big Tree Tech right on Amazon. So the first thing we wanna do is make sure that the jumpers are in the proper position on the board. So let's take a look at that. So if we look at the power jumper on the board, you can see right here that it is on VDD and the middle pin, which is set up for the power supply on the printer. That's perfect, that's the way we want it. Now for the stepper motors, that has four jumpers on there. For the TMC 2209s, we only want there to be one jumper on this third row. So we're gonna have to remove the first, second, and fourth row jumpers. I'm gonna do this off camera. Okay, so now all the jumpers are correct. And they're set up for UART mode for the TMC 2209s. So as you can see, the pins on the stepper motor driver are color coded and they match up perfectly with the board. I'm not going to put the jumper on this pin for centerless homing because I'm going to use my end stop switches that are on the Ender 3. All the stepper drivers are now installed properly and the jumpers are set up good. Let's throw the heat sinks on the top of them and then we'll install the SKR into its enclosure. Heat sinks are all on, let's put it in the enclosure. So just a fair warning, and I mentioned this in a few other videos, but Creality hot glues all of their plugs into their motherboard. You're going to have to be very careful and pick off the hot glue in order to get the plugs off the motherboard. I don't think it would be productive to show any videos of me unplugging these wires and then plugging them in on the SKR2. Instead, when I edit this, I will put together a wiring diagram to show where I plugged everything from the Creality 4.2.2 board into the SKR2. So in this section, we're gonna go over all the wires that are plugged into the Creality motherboard and where they should plug into the SKR2 motherboard. Please check all the pinouts when you're following this because I don't show polarity in these diagrams and you need to make sure that you don't do anything that would fry the board. So here's the wiring for the stepper motors, super simple, plug and play. Blue is the X, green is the Y, yellow is the Z and red is the extruder. So the Creality board has a five pin BL touch port, while the SKR2 has a three pin for the servo and a two pin for the probe. If you already have your connectors split out three and two, then this is a simple plug and play. If not, you might have to pop the pins out of the five pin connector and take a three and a two pin and repin them. Please, please, please make sure that the pinout for your BL Touch matches what it should be in the SKR2 wiring diagram because you can easily fry your board this way or fry the BL Touch. So Creality uses a two pin end stop and the SKR3 has a three pin JXT port on the board. So the best thing to do would to be get some JXT plugs and repin the two pin ones to a three pin. Um, if you can't do that, then it's possible to trim one of the tabs off on the two pin connector to make it fit in the three pin connector. And that's also a possibility. The part cooling fan is highlighted in blue and it's plugged in the fan zero, which is a PWM fan port. This allows the motherboard to vary the speed of that fan. I didn't think it was important for the hot end fan and for the case fan to be variable speed. So I plugged those into fan four and fan three because those are just always on fans. Uh, the fan for the hot end on the Creality board does not have a two pin connector on it. So you might have to get a two pin JXT plug and crimp the wires for that to make that fit into the SKR2. The display wire is super simple. 
just take the one from the Creality board, plug it in the EXP1 on the SKR2, and you're all good. The power wires are pretty self-explanatory. Just please check the SKR2 wiring diagram to make sure that you get your polarities right. The hotbed thermistor and the hot end thermistor are super simple. They're just plug and play, so follow the diagram. So I got the SKR2 wired up. Everything looks good. There was three custom things I had to do. One, I put a JXT three pin connector on the BL Touch because before it had the little three prong black connector and it doesn't fit nicely into the port. The second was that I made a custom power extension cable. And thirdly, I made a extension cable for the Y axis limit switch because that was not long enough either. So one thing I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to print a different version of the lid for this enclosure. It does fit, but it pushes all the wires down pretty hard onto the SKR. And I don't know if I want that to happen. And we're gonna go compile the firmware and see if we can get this going. So looking at boards.h, you can see that there's two defines for the SKR 2.0. I know that I have the Rev B, but if you're unsure, Big Tree Tech released a statement about the Rev A, which causes an issue if you're using the TMC 2209s. It's possible that all the stepper drivers can get blown out if you're using a Rev A. So just make sure that you know which model you have. And if you do have the Rev A, just do a quick YouTube on the Rev A with the 2209s. Okay, opening up configuration.h from last time, we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna change the motherboard now to our SKR V2. I'm also gonna change the name of the printer here. We're in the stepper driver section. Uh, we should use the TMC2209. For each driver type. When you get down to Z probe options, you want to make sure now to undefine this macro, which before we on the Creality board, we were using the Z axis end switch port for the BL touch, but now we're actually using the probe port on the SKR. Um, so we want to undefine this now. So scrolling down a little bit further, there's an invert the stepper direction section. And I believe that you have to reverse these because the 2209s uh, are in the reverse direction of the old stepper motors that we had in this printer. So I'm going to reverse that now. So in your advanced configuration file, we want to look for this section here. You can search for X current and you should be able to find it. Um, this sets the current values for your stepper motors and it uses root mean square current. So really it just means that whatever current value your motor is rated for, if you divide it by 1.414, then that should give you the number that you should put here. So that means we're going to use 590, we'll round it up to 595 for our motors here. And then our extruder motor is different, and we're going to put 708 as the current value for the extruder. Okay, so I selected Big Tree SKR2 as my environment. So let's try and compile this now. Okay, so the firmware built successfully, which is a little scary because I'm kind of just winging this, but let's just slap it in the printer and turn it on, see what happens. All right, the screen is up and running. EXP3 on the screen, EXP1 on the board. I didn't actually pay attention to which port it came out of when I unplugged it, but I just plugged it in, everything worked. I already tested moving the axes and all of them move. I preheated the extruder and I can see that the extruder is running in the wrong direction. 
that's running in the positive direction. So I need to make a firmware change to invert that back. Okay, so I ran into my next issue. The SD card port is not working. It has an SD card in it, but it still can't find it. So let's go look through the configuration, find out what's wrong, recompile the firmware, and try it again. So this is the final revision of the lid that I made for this enclosure. First I started out with just a flat lid and that was squishing the wires down too much. Then I went to more of like a pyramid lid. Uh, excuse the crappy print quality here. I kind of, I printed it like this on the build plate. And this was still squishing it down a little bit. Um, and like none of the vents came out properly. So now it's hard to see now that it's on, but it's got venting on that side. It's got the exhaust fan that pulls the air out on that side and it looks pretty good. And it gives enough room for all the wires to sit in there properly. So that wraps up this video. Uh, the printer is running on the SKR2 and it is running very nicely. Until next time, subscribe. Thanks for watching.